Have you ever gotten a really great sounding drum mix that you can't recreate? Are you sick and tired of recreating your drum effects every time you create a new track? Do you wish you could have your own custom drum kits? In this video, we'll go over what it takes to accomplish these goals. Let's get started by creating a new track for our drum kit. We'll start with the software instrument track. Once you've created that track, you'll be presented with the library on the left here, and I usually select drum kit and go with my favorite kit, the heavy kit. As you can see from the library list on the left here, Logic Pro X comes loaded with several different drum kits. It also has a great choice of electronic drum kits you can choose from as well. Logic Pro X also has several tools available to you to customize the sound of your drum kit. Let's touch base on a couple of these. Up on the top toolbar here there's the smart controls which are kind of nice because you can go into each piece of your drum kit and um, adjust the volume if you'd like. And it also has different choices for compression and effects over here on the right such as room. Another key way to change the sound of your drums are by plugins which are located right here. And there's several different plugins you can add. Uh, for example, this multiprocessor right here you could add. And by adjusting the different levels of your plugins, um, and by choosing several different plugins and by using the tools such as the smart controls here and several others available to you with Logic Pro X, you can customize the sound of your drums uh, exactly how you'd like them. And this is a great feature of Logic Pro X because as you can imagine you can create several different drum sounds with a wide range of sounds. So what I'd like to talk about next is how to create several different custom drum kits and save them so they're available to you the next time you open Logic Pro X and you don't have to go back and create them all from scratch again. So now that you've become a pro with creating your own custom drum sounds, let's talk about how to save them so you can use them in the future and update them if need be. It's a very simple and straightforward process. All you have to do is click on this channel strip setting is what they call this right here and you can go ahead and select save channel strip setting as and you'll be prompted with the screen to save it so we'll call this custom set one and hit save so now if we wanted to use that drum sound in the future all we have to do is create a new software instrument track and once that's loaded up you just click on the channel set channel strip setting here and choose your custom set one and you see it came loaded exactly how we had it set last time and you can imagine you can do this with several sets so you could have 10 or 15 preset drum kits for you ready to roll the next time you log in next time you open Logic Pro X now let's say you got a little bit sick of this sound or you, you thought it might need a little tweaking and you made a couple changes maybe you turned the kick up maybe you had a different plugin or maybe you even turned off a plugin like that there you can go ahead and update this by choosing channel <laughs> save channel strip setting as and you could save it as this um, same setting and overwrite it if you'd like or you could even rename it uh, if it was significantly different to two for example and save it that way and now you're good to go with several different custom drum kits that you've created for your electronic drums in Logic Pro X. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below.